Hello everybody, this is uh, Johnny here well, with a video tutorial on uh, retopology and hexagon. Um, you know, hexagon is, is not really uh, made for retopology, uh, but there is a way to do it and I just thought I'd uh, pass along, that along to you. It's been a while since I did, a, did any uh, video tutorials, so uh, kind of bear with me, I'll have to get back into the swing of things. Uh, the big thing uh, to really create uh, a lot of good looking models uh, is to create a base mesh and then uh, take it into a sculpting application and sculpt some uh, definition into it and then usually you have to retopologize uh, that uh, sculpted mesh in an application and uh, there are a lot of tools out there to use but I thought it'd be really neat to figure a way to do it in hexagon so uh, we're gonna do that uh, so the first thing I, I did is uh, on the bottom toolbar here is I went down uh, to this to uh, this little section right here and turned on all my snapping options. Uh, you have points, edges, uh, snap on half edge, third edge, quarter edge, and faces, and I turned all those on. And then I also uh, went up to the edit to uh, menu and went to the preferences editor and turned on my point size to 10. And you'll see why here in a little bit. And the first thing you want to do uh, after that is uh, make sure that your model is not selected because uh, if your model is selected uh, when you start creating uh, new faces on top of this uh, it will w make it a part of that object and we don't want to do that we want this to be a separate separate object uh, so next I'm gonna go to the facet tool and I'm just gonna start laying out some new topology here. I'm holding uh, my shift key and just snapping uh, to uh, this head model and as you can see here uh, those uh, the vertice size is pretty big and that's why I turned those up and then I'll just go here and I'll continue to draw out some topology As you can see, this works kind of decent. And you can um, hide our head model here. As you can see, I kind of missed uh, snapping to a couple of those points. If you want to fix that, just turn on uh, your uh, point mode there and grab a couple of those uh, points. Go to your vertex modeling tab and just start welding those points together. Let's make sure we're all welded together there. It kind of looks like we're still apart, but I don't think we are. Okay. So anyway, um, that is one method uh, for doing that, uh, to draw out new topology on, on top of a high res mesh. So we can go ahead and uh, delete that topology, that new topology that we made and then I'll show you another way. We'll go to the lines tool and we'll just select a polyline here and we'll just start laying out a line on snap into it on top of our uh, mesh here and then we'll go back in here and we'll create another line snap into the mesh and we'll just kind of line up those vertices of this uh, here and let's see here. Let's delete this this vertice here. Oops, I had to go select that curve. I made too many of them. Anyway, um, as you can see here, we've got uh, two lines made uh, to create uh, some new topology from. And then we'll just go to the surface modeling tab and we'll choose ruled surface. 
Let's click both of those curves. And we've created a new mesh there. And then we'll don't forget to come down here and uh, collapse your DG. Um, and one thing that uh, Hexagon does is uh, reverse reverses the normals. A lot of times when, <clears throat> when you're u when you're using ruled surface, as you can see, those uh, faces are flipped, and uh, the way <clears throat> that I can tell that is uh, as these faces are facing me in our options up here uh, it's in the preferences editor editor uh, under advanced uh, I have the two sides lighting turned off and what that does with that <coughs> excuse me turned off um, any normals that are flipped will display in black so and I'll I never had that turned on so I can uh, fix any flip normals as I'm working I guess you could do it afterwards uh, but that just happens to be the way I like to work so anyway to uh, let's go ahead and fix these uh, normals here we'll go to the utilities tab and we'll click on orient normals and we'll just click here and here and fix those as you can see that fixed this anyway uh, I don't really have a lot of time to to uh, go through the whole model and show you uh, retopology on this this whole head object here uh, but I hope that gives you uh, a little something to kind of experiment with and uh, we'll see you again before long